Hello, my friend, Pastor Kurt here, and I got a question for you. It's a little bit embarrassing, so I want you to be honest. Have you ever had a hard time fitting in? You ever went to a party and you just didn't feel like you fit in with those people? I remember the very first time I actually met all of my wife's sisters. She's the seventh of seven girls. And we're sitting around eating at this dinner and they're all talking with each other and they're talking sister talk and they don't even have to finish sentences. They're like, did you know? I did know. Did you give that? I did. Oh, that's a go. Ha ha ha. And they're just, I can't even follow the conversation. I felt like I didn't fit in. Has that ever happened to you? You see, I think that happens to all of us. All of us have these strange things in us where we go, I connect with this person, but I don't connect with these people. And I like these environments, but I don't like those environments. And we kind of just get all split up into little groups. Do you know who is great at making everyone fit in? Who just went after this in a way that, I don't know, is revolutionary. And that's not too strong to say. It's Jesus Christ. From the start of his ministry, he went on a mission to make the people who didn't feel like they fit in, fit in the most. Here we go. Mark chapter 2, verse 16. As he walked along, he saw Levi, son of Alphaeus, sitting at the tax collector's booth. Follow me, Jesus told him. And Levi got up and followed him. Right after this passage, he ends up at Levi's house. Now, we can't underestimate how problematic this is. Levi's a Jewish guy who's working with the Romans to take money away from the Jews and give it to the Romans. Levi was probably Peter's tax collector. Levi had probably taken money from Peter's family and given it to the Romans. Next thing I know, Peter and Jesus and Levi are all at the same table. By the way, Levi, also known as Matthew, they're all at the same table eating, and they both become apostles, disciples of Jesus, Peter and Levi. Why did Jesus do this? Because he understood a principle that was very, very important. Here's the principle. God loves to break down barriers. You know, some people use the Bible as a looking glass and they're looking for faults. They're looking for sins and they're looking for, and some people use the Bible as a mirror. They're going, God, show me how I can be more like Jesus. If we're going to use the Bible as a mirror, we've got to be the sort of people that break down barriers. We're not looking for every little fault. That was the teachers of the law and the Pharisees in here were literally sitting in rooms with Jesus while he was healing people and saying, here's why you can't be friends with this guy. And here's why you can't have dinner with that guy. And here's why you can't say it this way to this guy or do it on this day. Instead, we need to take this and go, man, Jesus, look who was at the dinner table with you and look how you made him fit in. Here's my question. Who in your world needs you to break down a barrier and make them feel welcome? Make them feel like they fit in. Make them feel like they have a place at God's table. And maybe, just maybe, if you help them see that they do have a place at God's table, they'll sit down and start to get to know this Jesus. My, what a powerful, wonderful thing that would be, is if you and Jesus sat at a table and someone's life got changed. Let's just think about that today. Who do you want to invite in? Who do you want to get to the table? They may not look like you, act like you, come from your same background, even better. That's the one Jesus would go after.